Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for showing up, showing I got some love. My name is Marcy, to all of my new subscribers and my friends, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you all. Thank you for always clicking on that thumbnail, showing up, showing your girl some love. Please follow me on Instagram. It's Marcmello, M-A-R-C-E-M-E-L-L-0-W. We just have a lot of fun, reels, lives, all of that vacation information, you know, um, vacation reels, vlogging, all that, y'all. Um, it's a little harder to vlog over here on YouTube because I always uh, record with my phone and, you know, it's either vertical or horizontal. And most of the time I'm recording vertical, which works for Instagram and Facebook and horizontal is over here on um, on YouTube. Uh, so follow me on Instagram. Like I always say, create a ghost following page. I don't have to know who you are. Just don't make any crazy comments. You know, nobody has to know who you are. Just, you know, like my content, y'all. And I'll get some information. So without further ado, we're going to be talking about the House of Reve. These are EDTs that I have today. This is a fragrance house that I found over while I was on vacation. It was steps in front of my, um, my hotel that I rented. It was a beautiful, uh, small boutique hotel. I do not like resorts unless I absolutely absolutely have to or if it's like a group trip. I love small boutique hotels. I stayed on Messina y'all and Messina is where everything was happening. Restaurants, foods, entertainment. The beach was five minutes away y'all. Amazing, beautiful small hotel uh, with an apartment and a balcony y'all. So um, I found this fragrance house as I was walking to the beach. I uh, just stumbled upon it and it's the house of Reve. They do have other home goods or um, home Home and beauty things like scrubs uh, fresheners things like that and um, I don't know if they're considered niche or indie I tried to look on the site it really didn't say uh, but we're gonna get into it today y'all I have three fragrances that I absolutely two that I absolutely love one that I really really like because the performance wasn't that great uh, but two that I kept spraying I was there for five days in Nice like I said it's on Messina I'm not sure where you can purchase these fragrances. You might be able to get them from a third party, uh, but directly from the house, I think they are only over in France. Uh, nice, and I think she said there was a store in Paris as well. So we're gonna get into these fragrances, y'all. These fragrances are inspired by the French Riviera. Um, they're supposed to be very uh, aquatic, very solar, very airy, very beachy, all of that to make you feel like you're on the French Riviera. So the very first one that I've fallen in love with and I sprayed it for like three days straight, three or four days straight, kept going into the store, smelling it to make sure that I did want it. And I was trying other fragrances as well, but these two I just absolutely had to have. And the very first one is called um, Summer Farninti, Farninti. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure the, fr the French pronounces it a bit different. So yeah, this is a beautiful fragrance. And this EDT, it will last you a good six hours, six to eight hours on clothes. You know, they say EDTs don't last, but this one will last you a good six hours. So uh, Summer Far 90. <laughs> um, in here, I wrote I wrote some notes down, y'all. I said it smells like a cashmere summer. It's fluffy, clean, fresh, fruity, and soapy. Um, there's lemon in here. There's lime. There's pear. Uh, there's a beautiful like jasmine note in here. There's tiari flower, ylang ylang. There's peach. Um, there's a creamy coconut. There's some incense in here, which is not very heavy. And there's some tonka bean. I'm going to go ahead and spray this, y'all. Absolutely love, love, love. I love this one. Um, this was a love upon first sniff, y'all. The automizers are amazing, you know. They're not my Kayali automizers, but um, I do love them. Beautiful, a sweet, it's a lemony sweet. You get that beautiful sweet note of pear. It's very fresh, it's very solar, it's very um, aromatic, you know? Not herbaceous, but you get that like a bit of a tart, sweet lemon, almost like a lemon meringue. That's what it smells like. Not heavy, but like I said, you do get a little bit of that pear. They say there's incense in here, but I don't smell any incense to make it a little spicy or woody. You know, you get a, a beautiful note of ylang ylang, the peach, the coconut, y'all. Yeah. This fragrance is so, so good, and it's gonna be amazing for the summer. 
but I absolutely love it. And I think I'm gonna wear this to work tonight. Um, you can wear this as a signature scent. Great for the beach, great for vacation, any place where it's really warm and hot, aside from Dubai, because y'all know over in Dubai, they just wear nothing but ouds and heavy fragrances and incense and things like that, you know. But you can wear this in Dubai as well. You'll be smelling different, but, you know, wear it over there as well because it's like 100 plus degrees. But, yeah, this, this is a very solar-scented fragrance, you know. Very light, airy. Like I said, I really get ylang ylang coconut lemon, pear, you know, peaches, beautiful. Like I said, I sprayed this and this was a love at first sniff. Um, I hope you guys can find it. I will try to do more research to see um, if there's a third party or where. Actually gonna hit up um, the two ladies um, because I friended them on Instagram um, to see if there's a place over in the US uh, where these can be purchased, you know? But beautiful fragrances. I love them. I don't have anything like this in my collection. This is not heavy at all, but it's uh, the performance is good on this one. I did spray it about maybe 12 to 15 times, but I got about a good six hours out of this fragrance on my um, clothes more, on my skin about four hours. But good stuff, y'all. Get your nose on it. Hopefully you can. So the next one we're gonna talk about today that I loved, um, my second favorite one, was called Sweet Croissette. I think that's pronounced Sweet Croissette. It'll list all the notes on the back as well, but you know, I need glasses, so it's a bit tiny for me. So in Sweet Croissette, um, this one's gourmand leaning, y'all. Um, you have your, um, it's fresh. I wrote down it's gourmand lady, but fresh and airy at the same time. You have some orange, peach, cinnamon, caramel, and vanilla. What I really get in this fragrance is the caramel, the peach, and the vanilla. It's good, y'all. So let's go ahead and spray this. Love the bottles. They're just really clean and sterile looking, you know? This one lasts the longest. This one was about eight hours on my clothes and maybe four to six hours on my skin. I was sweating a lot, so it was really projecting, you know? This one, I get a slight sense of alcohol in the opening. Um, I don't get that in the summer fragrance, but that dried down pretty fast, and I get a really good dose of caramel, vanilla, and peach, y'all. Yeah, it smells a little uh, spicy, you know, like a light spicy, warm spicy. Yeah, but this is a really beautiful fragrance. Absolutely love it. Like I said, peach, vanilla, cinnamon, caramel. Uh, what else is in here? Lemon as well. There's some orange. There's some bergamot, which you get in every single one of these fragrances. A really bright but non-screeching bergamot. Um, you have some benzoin in here, some cedar. Slightly woody, just slightly woody but very fresh, a very fresh solar um, gourmand smelling scent, which makes it different because usually your gourmands are a little bit heavy. Um, I've never smelled like a light and bright solar gourmand. Actually, sort of similar. There's Unknown Pleasures, which is bright, but it's that tea note gives it a little bit of depth and heaviness. This is still great for the, uh, for the beach. Um, definitely vacation in a bottle as well. But yeah, I love this. This is like, um, it almost smells like a baked good in a way, you know? It smells like the pastries and all the patisseries that we were eating at over every single morning. We got about six to sample um, and we ate them all. My daughter drank orange juice. I drank coffee or cappuccino. Uh, but yeah, absolutely love this fragrance as well, y'all. These are so, so good. Um, this is good. So um, they are 40 euros uh, per bottle, and that is a 100 ml bottle. I think it's 100 mls. Yeah, 40 euros, very good price, you know, uh, for a 100 ml bottle. I wish I could have brought back more, but my suitcase was getting extremely heavy because I bought other fragrances as well. Uh, but amazing price uh, for the performance and the amount that they give you. And you buy two, I don't know if it was a sale then, but you buy two and you get one free, basically. Or, you know, um, 
complimentary okay uh free every, things are not free complimentary um this one is called i love the name swinging riviera because we were on the french riviera y'all lovely lovely time over there so this one was complimentary i smelled this one i liked this one i did not love it but i did like it um this one's very this one's not sweet at all um and in swinging riviera you know, it's a beautiful fragrance, though. I put smells like a high-end luxury lotion. That's what I put on there. I put, um, it's light, fresh, musky. Um, you get a light, watery, like red fruit type scent. Um, I put cherries and strawberries. I put they are not pronounced. So maybe there's some inside. Um, I put, you get a light almondy note. You get the bergamot and the orange, uh, but not so much. If you caught all of that, okay? <laughs> So beautiful, you do get that nutty almondy fragrance, that scent, you know, in here, let's see what's in here. I'm gonna hold it up for you. Uh, it says you have, um, make sure I have the right one. Um, you have your lemon again, bergamot, you have some rhubarb in this one, almond, you have some apple, jasmine, magnolia, peach, rose, strawberry, cherry, vanilla, you have incense, white musk, which I definitely get, and amber. So yeah, a, a really pretty fruity. Actually, I really like this one too. Yeah, I'm smelling it more today. I'm getting more of a scent, maybe because I sprayed longer in one spot. So you get a little bit of a cherry note, you get a white musk, a really pretty ambery. Um, the other ones didn't smell as ambery. I don't know if they had amber inside. But no, the other ones didn't have amber, but I do smell amber in this one. Yeah, you get the bergamot, you get the lemon, you get those like some red fruits. You know, it said it had strawberry inside and some cherry. But yeah, absolutely. This is a little powdery. I think it's coming from the almondy cherry scent. Yeah, actually, I do love this one as well. You know, they all smell different, but they're all solar, light, refreshing, with a little bit of depth with each one of them. You know, the Swinging Riviera, it had the really bright yellow fruits, you know, the peachiness. Um, this one, you get a little bit more of the red fruits with the almondy scent. You know, and then um, what is it? The the um, the one that smells a little bit gourmandish. You get more of the caramel, the vanilla. Yeah, absolutely loving every single one of these, y'all. Um, the next ones. Um, this one is fascinating. It's fascinating something. Uh, they wrote the names on here. Fascinating anchor, I think it is. Anyway, y'all, I just did a review on these two and I was basically talking to myself, like for real talking to myself because the uh, camera was not recording. My phone was not recording. So anyway, I'm not going to go into detail, but um, I did talk about Romantic Nice. Uh, Romantic Nice is more of a rose scent. It's more of like a green stem rose or it smells more of like uh, MFK's A La Rose. I put it on here while I was talking to myself. <laughs> but a really beautiful rose, light, airy rose scent. It almost smells like a bouquet of baby roses. It reminds me of MFK's A La Rose. Um, this is definitely unisex, this rose fragrance. Uh, men, also, I did a review on Instagram on Rose Rabachi. That's a very um, unisex rose with, and, and that kind of reminds me of this one as well but this one is not as green. So this is Romantic Nice, and this is a beautiful rose scent, y'all. Beautiful, absolutely love them. I really wish I would've gotten more, but y'all, my suitcase would've been way too heavy. Um, this one I discussed, which is called Fascinating Something. I will link it down below because I they wrote the name on here, but it's not legible, so. Uh, but I love this one as well, y'all. Um, this one, is very creamy. There's a little bit of a nuttiness to this fragrance, but solar, very light and airy as well. Y'all, this is beautiful. You know, and these fragrances don't remind me of anything that I have in my collection, especially those three, but these are all amazing fragrances. 
You know, I'm gonna try to find to see where I can order the House of Reve from, but I'm so glad I got my nose on all of these fragrances. Um, you know, I absolutely love every single one. Amazing for the summer. Um, I wouldn't say stay away from these in the fall and the winter, uh, even the spring. Yeah, these are definitely gonna shine in the summer. Absolutely love them. Go out into the world, spread amazing sillage, do good, be good. And if you ever get a chance, go over to Nice. And um, I think this fragrance house is also in Paris, she said. Um, but hopefully y'all can find them. And I'm going to try to find them with you all. Uh, but love every single one that I picked up. And I really want to get into more. Um, go out into the world, spread amazing sillage, do good, be good, all of that. And um, I'm still recording. And uh, y'all, bye-bye. Have an amazing day. Mm -hmm.